Hi guys, I'm Helder, I'm 18 and I'm currently doing a business level 3 admin at NKDC. Well, um, I first started off at college and I did a year at college doing business level 3. Yeah. And, um, well yeah, it was good. You got to treat more respectfully and that and not like school where you were treated as a kid. But then it was like, I want to do a bit more earning, a bit more actual experience, like in the office and stuff like that. So I was looking around for an, uh, an apprentice and I found one at the council. Well, I've gained a lot of experience in the office, especially. But then I've also learnt a lot about like how the regulations and diversity of how councils work and a lot more at college as well because I feel like at any other normal college you just learn about just what you need to learn about like the course but then here you learn more it's more in depth of what you need to learn about especially communication skills verbally and email having to email other people and I've also I'd say team working skills, I feel like that's the main skill you need in an office because if you work as a team you get things done so much faster. Oh well there's, there's a lot more now, especially at work, because at college it was more leeway wasn't it, yeah, but at work it's yeah. you've got to be on time, you've got to be professional, presentable, you've got to make sure you don't leak any information that you're not meant to. You got to make sure you get your work done on time. That's people aren't going to be happy, and so it's a lot more responsibilities. Which that's what I mean. Doing an apprenticeship gets you ready for real life jobs and stuff like that. Oh, well, I do have meetings with uh, people in the council, and then obviously the gap offer to help you out if it doesn't come to thing. That's the, they offer quite a bit of help, but yeah, in. In work-wise, they ha do say that if they find you good, you, you will stay on. Well, I'll just take it personally because, first of all, you're not going to miss out on any... You're going to get a qualification and then you're going to gain so much experience, which you will find better. Because I, I feel like now, if I, even if they didn't want me to stay on, I find it so much easier to do interviews elsewhere and I know how it is to be more professional and what they know, want to know and stuff like that. So you just gain so much information that's going to help you progress in life anyway. So I'd definitely tell them to just take the chance. Definitely meeting the team was, the team. Uh, yeah, because yeah. when I first did my interview I met the manager but it was so brief, like we didn't really get to meet you, just did an interview on me, I was like alright. So when I first came in, the way NK did it, they did it really like helpful because they put us into like a team of apprentices first. And we did like a day there where we met all the apprentices, became more comfortable, and then they slowly met us meet like the people we need to meet. So they gave they obviously gave us buddies and mentors, which helped us like just get more used to other people. And if we didn't want to talk to someone about our team, we could go to someone else and communicate with them, and they could give you more answers. But yeah, it was definitely meeting the team was the most difficult part. But then after that, it just feels like they're my mates and I can trust them.